Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Emma Twin. So, what is the real problem? The blood levels in critical conditions are common reality here. The no waiting time discourages so many people in a rush like us from donating blood. We cannot know if it should take 15 minutes or three hours. Also, the visualization to blood data is not easy enough. So, how can we change this scenario? Our solution targets SDGs 3 about health and also SDGs 9 about infrastructure and 16 about efficient institutions. So let's jump in. Our solution is a mobile app that simulates a local blood donation center called MOIS. All the data comes from the Firebase real-time database using WebSocket connection. The sofa represents the waiting room and shows the people count and the waiting time calculated by a Python self-made algorithm. The camera represents our sensor that tracks people in the wait room using YOLO AI. As you can see here, we have two people in this room. And now, Lois. And now we have one person in this room. And the sofa is updated to one person. And the bed represents the donation room and shows the time countdown for each person. And it's updated live, as you can see here. And if you want to schedule your donation, you can go to the side panel, see the virtual quill, and sign up to donate. And the fridge represents the blood storage and shows the levels for each blood type with an easy visualization to the user. In addition, we developed an internal system that tracks blood data over time and it shows the current blood levels. And it's possible to update the level here, let's say 20. And the level is updated here in the internal system. And we can see the updated level in the i twin 2 Here's another example of a waiting room with multiple people. In this example, we have five people. And what is the real value realized by the user and the health system? For donators like our member Lois, we have a reduced waiting time as a key value. For people like his mom, the easier blood levels visualization is essential. And for the health system, we have the increased perceived daily donation over the next year and the upgraded internal system that will combine all the data. My name is David, and with Luis and Lucas, we are the Alwin Group, developing a quick win to help save lives. Thank you. Uh, one or two. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> when, when, you're, when you're modeling these... Uh... Blood donation centers is a is the seating area um, sort of similar? I mean, does is it static? Do they remain the same? Because I, I think what you could do is, and, and we've had other people do it too, is is maybe put um, sensors in the room so that you can count how many people are actually uh, sitting there and which seats are open and which aren't, um, showing a kind of a a live feed of exact. Uh -huh. So I what is get the question. You, had, you had some camera feeds on there as well. We have a camera here. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that uh, you could do too is is just as a to make it a, a, a nicer area is you could you could probably keep track of the um, the temperature, the environmental settings inside that room to make sure that it's comfortable for people who are sitting there. Yeah, but it's also really great, possible really to great, uh, solution. To, I like that. So like the second place in the UK competition, it's a, a really good, uh, really good thing to upgrade the system. It will be more like tech. Né? We aim to upgrade the technology in the health system and use data and our computer vision to upgrade the user experience in the blood donation. I'm curious what uh, what cameras and APIs are you using to track people the way you're doing it right now? Uh, I using uh, a camera I I use it to research here. I okay. do some undergraduate research, and uh, I using Rabbit Team and Kill to to grab the camera frames. Really cool. Uh, I I can show you here. I have uh, uh, some Docker running here, and that's how I using. Like that, it's a great way to 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 figure out how many people are in a room. Uh, how do you figure out how many people? No, he likes the way uh, like he that. likes it. 
It's ah, just okay. A just <laughs> thank a compliment. you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Did you say something, Glenn, as well? No, I also like it. It's very cool. Um, I guess also um, what would be good is to, if there's a notification system for people of a certain blood group, right, when the blood banks are getting low, mm -hmm. to get an indication to say, hey, you know what, the waiting time is only 20 minutes if you come down now and we need you know, this type of blood group. So For urgency, you mean, yeah? Exactly, oh. yeah. So people, yes, people yes. Know, but they need a certain blood type they can, you know, like, them when the when the waiting times less than fifteen minutes come now. All of the A type, right? So it's sort of a nice little. We analysis. see our app as a mobile app, and it's possible to send alert to the user that is able to donate blood, and their blood type is in need in the donation yeah. center. That's a, a feature that you we aim the near future. Yeah, very very nice. A lot of lot of um, opportunities for this type of tracking. It has to be masked, right? You'd have to make sure that people couldn't see the camera feed, but certainly that diluted uh, feed of the number of people is certainly um, very valuable. Very good. I like the amount of, of the fact that you integrated a lot of stuff in, uh, together there, and we can see a lot of technology: Docker, camera, AI. Uh, well done. To tell the truth, we wanted to integrate more things, but no time left. Yeah. <laughs> you it was a short to... competition. <laughs> we wanted to integrate the Map API to uh, connect multiple uh, blood donation centers and uh, like scale the application. We have the one blood donation center application, and it's possible to integrate via, via Map. Uh, and we have the the waiting time in multiple centers. Uh, that too, that will be a, a great thing. Yeah. Really cool, really cool work, guys. I love all the different data sources. Like that's really, that's like the bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Well done. Any other comments from anyone? If you don't have more questions, I can tell you about the the motivation of the application. Go ahead. Luis. Well, uh, first, let me tell you uh, a story. Last year, my mom uh, needed blood donation for a kidney transplant. So I got some friends together to do it. But when we get to this donation center, we face a really large crowd. And unfortunately, most of my colleagues were unable to donate. Luckily, my mother received the amount uh, that she needed. But we know that this doesn't happen to anyone. And that's exactly what we want to change. That that's a real problem that we're solving there. So, well done. 